So welcome, everybody, to the Martin E. Siegel Theatre Center here at the Graduate Center CUNY. My name is Frank Henschkon. I'm the Director of Programs and the uh, Executive Director. It is uh, a great, great honor uh, for us, actually, to host a day, and as far as we know, maybe the first, you know, the retrospective of a first one, and lo long, long overdue, of the work uh, of one of the great theatrical minds and workers in the field of theater in the U.S., but also worldwide, which is Lee Brewer. So um, Lee, who as far as I know goes, traces us back to Helena Weigel and the Abelino Ensemble as formative experience and many, many others. You know, he really has put his imprint and a stamp uh, on uh, American theater and therefore also with his extensive touring within the world, you know, uh, also is part of the world theater and the global theater and, uh, and is, has our highest respect. We know how complicated it is for artists everywhere to do their work, but especially uh, in America and especially also in New York. And if you look at the long list here and then also his work, uh, it is a tremendous. It's ever, always uh, a sign of a great artist to have a real body of work, a long body of work. And then often say, it's not about, people say, and I agree, it's not about, can I do art? Uh, is, do, do you have to do the art? And I think uh, Lee is someone who really has to do it. So today we're gonna have the films of Lee Brewer. And we also want to welcome Maud, who is here uh, with us today. Eric, really, really, for setting is up. Bob also um, is here. So thank you all for making um, this happen and for bringing all the films and screenings. Um, if you uh, have a cell phone, please take it out and just check that it's off. I'll do the same. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to hand over to the master himself. Please, thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, this is a tremendous privilege. Uh, you know, when you get old and when you get start to get sick, then it's time for a retrospective. Uh, <laughs> so getting old and getting a little sick, uh, I, I guess the time is crawling around. And uh, what's kind of interesting is you get a chance to see what you said over a long period of time. And so uh, in order to see what I've said, uh, we're going to try to start at the beginning, to share it with you. We're going to try to start at the beginning this morning. I'm amazed that so many of you got here so early. I can't believe it. This is unbelievable. But this hopefully will be worth it. This has never been, I'm going to start out with something very special. Uh, it's never been shown before. This is the world premiere uh, of this little film. Uh, it is Fred Newman, uh, par excellence. Um, I'll tell you a little, um, why don't you consider me, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit different order than on your program. Uh, consider me a living marginalia for a, an immemorium uh, program here because everyone here is deceased that you will see over the next, in this first series of films. Uh, Fred died fairly recently, a little more than a year ago. And uh, he was one of the most important actors that I've worked with through the entire history of Mumble Lines. He was, uh, I think, very, very brilliant. But when we did the piece that I wrote for him, the Bee Beaver Animation, which was the second piece of Mumble Lines, uh, this is a little story by way of introduction that uh, uh, in the piece were the, uh, the stars of the company at that point, Ruth Malchak, Bill Raymond, uh, David Warlow, uh, and uh, we um, improvised around the text so extensively and we embedded it in so much movement and complex staging that uh, by the time it got to a review of, a, of the piece, they said that the text was gibberish, but it was rather interesting gibberish. And for many years, I was uh, locked into a text that was gibberish that had my name on it. And I actually thought I had written a story, but uh, you know, uh, I guess we really mucked it up with too much staging. I love the staging. Hi. And, uh, I feel it was a very, very kind of important development for us, the actual staging of the Bee Beaver, but I wanted to see what was there without the staging. Fred agreed to do a videotape with me, just the two of us, 
and a cinematographer Greg Jones in a kind of an amateur setup. And remember, this is back in the 70s, so everything is quite primitive. Uh, but we did a version of the Bee Beaver animation as a monologue with an attempt to see if the narrative would hold. I was very, very pleased with it, but you know, this was a personal experiment and we just tucked it away and never showed it. And now I think it's time as memorial to Fred to show this brilliant piece of work that he did. So we're starting out with Fred Newman starring in the monologue version of the Bee Beaver animation. Uh, circa 1970, 1975, something like that, okay? So it's shaky filmically and try to bear with it because I think the work is special. I think what you'll see today is that the one thing that preserved more than anything else about the work with the company is these great performances because there were some great, great actors who worked with us and who are still working with us. Uh, one of them's here today, Mark Mitchell, the star of Dollhouse. And uh, I think that uh, if we go down on any record, there's going to be as a performance oriented company. So here is Fred Newman in the BB Reanimation. Okay. Yeah, I might throw in a little marginalia here, and I hate Joseph. <laughs> 